In today's video, I'm showing you how to screen record on Mac with audio. If you're new to the True True Tucker channel, please go down below and hit that subscribe button. I really do appreciate it. I'm trying to make this the biggest tutorial channel on YouTube and then go and leave a like as well. I really appreciate it. So essentially today, I'm going over recording your Mac screen. This works for any Mac, MacBook, iMac, MacBook Air, any of, you know, any type of Mac will work for this tutorial. So if you're ready for this, make sure you watch all the way to the end as well, because I'm showing you sort of different tips and tricks and let's jump straight into this tutorial. So everybody, as you can see, I'm now on my Mac and I'll be showing you how to go and screen record. So it's a super, super easy tutorial, like I have already explained now quickly. I would recommend, if you're starting to make content or just a video, I'd really recommend an external microphone. The Max inbuilt microphone often isn't that good and once your Max seems to heat up a bit, it can get some background noise. So I do recommend if you're planning on making some consistent videos, just picking up a cheap external microphone. But anyway, let's jump straight into this. So you wanna come up to your search bar up here with the little mic um, magnifying glass click there and then all you want to do is simply search something called QuickTime. Now you've probably heard of QuickTime as a way to go and essentially watch videos on your Mac, like a playback video system. And then once you've opened it up, it's going to be down here. Now not an actual screen appears, which a lot of people think, you know, a menu's going to appear, but no, it's simply an icon in your dashboard. Then all you want to do is click with two fingers. And as you can see, you've got all of these options here. So these are previous um, videos I've opened up within QuickTime. But then you've got these options here. So you've got new move recording, new audio recording, and new screen recording. That's grayed out because I'm currently using it. So I'm gonna quickly switch screen recorders and then I'll show you the next step. So I've now switched and as you can see, new screen recording is now available. So what you want to do is simply click on new screen recording. You'll then have this box appear on your screen somewhere. Now it may depend where it appears on your screen. Mine was in the middle though. And as you can see, it's all ready to go. So then the next thing you want to do is if you have an audio box with the audio with the blue all the way up with the dot right by the speaker, turn that down because that's going to cause a really annoying echo. Basically, it plays back what it hears. So make sure you turn that all the way down to zero as it is on the screen right now. So once you've done that, what you want to do is click on the little, there's an arrow next to record button pointing downwards. And then you're going to get this list of microphones. So as you can see, you can have none and I've got internal audio, um, internal microphone even, sorry. So all you want to do is click on internal microphone unless you're using an external microphone, which is going to be higher quality, which like I said in the intro, I do sort of recommend using. So go and select your microphone you'd like to use and then just go and click off that. And then all you want to do is go and click the red button and you're going to start recording. So once you click that, you'll then have this message here saying click to record the full screen or drag to record part of the screen. So to drag part of the screen, all you want to do is simply just start dragging. Um, and as you can see, you can then select the area. So I just did that area as an example. Um, you can make it any size. And anyway, then you can start recording. And as you can see, you'll see your recording by in the top um, nav navigation bar, you've got the little circle with the square in, and that means you're recording. So to stop it, all you want to do is go and click on that, or you can right click on QuickTime, but I recommend is clicking on the red, in the, in the circle on the nav bar. So then you can go and record, and then it's gonna load up your recording. As you can see, you can go and play through it. There was only six seconds, just a quick example. And then you can go and save it by going to file and then you go to export and you can go and choose the quality. If you just do save, that doesn't actually save the video file. It just saves the QuickTime file, but you need to actually export it to be able to say upload it to YouTube or do another purpose with it. So I hope you have found this video useful. If you have, please go down below, hit the subscribe button and leave a like. And I really appreciate you watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Have an awesome day. Peace.